What's up, Ben? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video, guys. In, uh, in today's video, we're going to wrap up our defensive scheme of the week here. And uh, really quickly, before I show you the, uh, the coverage defense we're going to be using today uh, for this week's scheme of the week, coverage defense uh, section of the, video, of the video series, I would just ask that you guys do me one favor. And if you guys would just go over to my Facebook page, like it, guys. I'm telling you right now, facebook.com slash madtips365. There may not be a lot of content up right now. But there is content up, and there will be more content to come. I think that the Facebook page has a, a lot of flexibility for me, and it's going to be basically like a website. So you need to check that out because I'm going to be putting a lot of content uh, on my Facebook page, and that's pretty much going to be my home base now. Uh, I'm kind of in a transition period where I'm, I'm moving from, from YouTube more so to more social media like Twitter and Facebook. And so uh, I would just appreciate it if you guys would just do me a favor as you guys are kind of the guys probably that are going to be seeing this video are my hardcore fans, guys that, you know, actually go through and watch all of my videos. And, uh, you know, it would be great to have you over there at Facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. But without uh, further ado here, um, the defense we're showing you guys today is um, the 46 normal formation. And we're just going to show you our basic coverage defenses. So we like to put the cover four in our audibles so that we can have a cover four, a cover three, a cover two, and a two-man under. Okay, so what we want to do here with this, and this is going to be the kind of primary theme here for most of these uh, coverage defenses, the Rams have a really good... Uh, defensive end combination here. Robert Quinn and Chris Long are really effective. So what I like to do is I like to take um, when I'm running my coverage defenses from uh, this, I try to drop uh, the defensive tackles as opposed to the defensive um, the defensive ends. So what we want to do here is we want to take Kendall Langford here and we want to drop him into a man coverage assignment on the running back. Okay, so there you see uh, the play there and that's what it's supposed to look like. Now the only other thing that I like to do, because I like the way that uh, we're pretty strong here on the right side, I'm just going to drop uh, this hook zone right here into a curl flat zone, uh, because I think that it can do a lot more for me that way. And then I'm just going to drop the defensive tackle into a hook zone. And you can you can man align and base align if you want and get them a little bit more exotic, a little bit more spread out. But this is just a really good play. It has nice flow coverage, guys. And I'm telling you guys, these Rams defensive ends, they get after it in this game. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this team. All right, guys, so the next coverage that we're going to be talking about here is the cover three, and uh, it's very similar setup to the cover uh, four. We're going to base a line. I like to get out here, and I like to take both flat zones and put them in curl flat zones, as you see right there. And then the only other thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take um, – I want to have really good underneath coverage in a cover three. So I'm going to, uh, once again, I want to man up the uh, running back here by my defensive tackle on the left side of the screen. And then I'm just going to drop my defensive tackle here into a hook zone. I'm going to man align and I'm going to base align. And there you see the, the defense is going to, if, I don't know what's going on right now, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to have to reset the play. My controller's being a little uh, stupid lately and uh, I don't know what's going on with it but it is going to be a little frustrating so if you guys would just bear with me I'll get it set up so that's what it should look like and uh, that's the coverage defense we want once again it's only a three man rush or two man rush but I'm telling you guys these Rams defensive ends I mean two, that's the second time in a row we've gotten a pretty quick sack fumble so uh, I'm telling you guys these Rams defensive ends are very effective alright guys so now we're going to be going over the, the two man under version of this and um uh, and uh, let's see here. So we're going to go to the two men under. We're going to base a line. Now what we like to do with two men under is, unfortunately, the safety goes in the back, and so it won't look the same as all the other plays. But with one quick hot route, we can kind of remedy that. And so we're just going to place him into a, a curl flat zone. And then we're going to take this guy right here, McLeod, and we're going to put him in all, another curl flat zone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the guy on the running back, so James Laurinaitis, drop him into that deep zone and so now it's a cover one style man but you got those two outsides covered and we're gonna take away a lot of underneath stuff here and so we're gonna man up the running back with Kendall Langford again and then we're gonna drop Brockers into the hooks and now you see it's a very exotic coverage defense for a man assignment and uh, we do pretty good job there at taking away those corner routes and out routes and stuff like that by dropping the purple zones uh, to the safeties so that's the way we do it in man coverage and then finally I wanna show you how we do it from a cover two so from a cover two, what we want to do here is we actually have to base a line and then press coverage. And um, the reason we have to do that is so that the safeties stay down and keep the same disguise look. 
All right, and now if you guys remember anything about the uh, Madden 11, there was a play called Cover 2 Hawk, and it had a very nice little max coverage defense set up for you. And we're going to be basically setting this up the same way. So we're going to drop both outside linebackers in curl flat zones. We're then going to take Langford, and once again, we're going to spy the running back. Or, uh, excuse me, man him up on the running back. Or you could drop him into a spy. Then we're going to get on Brockers, drop him into the hooks, and we're going to pass commit. And now you see we have a cover two zone, and we see that that middle linebacker does a nice job playing that deep middle. And once again, you see the pressure that these guys can put on. Now let me show you real quick here, and we'll set our cover four uh, max coverage up again. But basically, I want to show you why we like to uh, why we like to uh, man this guy up on the running back. First and foremost, because if the running back goes out, yes, he'll be manned up on him. But second, if they block the running back, watch what happens. You'll see that this guy drops into a quarterback spy, so if they try to scramble up the middle, even though the defensive ends are going to keep him in the pocket really well, um, that guy is going to be there as well. So let's show you this real quick in this replay, and then we'll let you guys go for the day. So you see here, he drops him into a spy. He kind of sits back and is basically just spying the quarterback and does a really good job at taking away those underneath drags, things like that. So that's why we man him up more so than anything, uh, but it also is nice to make sure that the running back has always got a guy on him. All right, guys, to close this video out, uh, once again, I just want to appreciate you guys work with me so much. I want to appreciate, I want you guys to let you, excuse me, uh, I want to let you guys know how much I appreciate you watching my videos, how much I appreciate you uh, commenting and talking with me and engaging with me outside of YouTube, and I just ask that more of you guys get involved. Get involved with me as much as you can. Uh, I try to be everywhere. I try to be on Twitter. I try to be on Tumblr, Facebook, all that, and uh, we talked about the Facebook page. It's going to be a great opportunity uh, to get the Facebook page kind of growing so that we can um, discuss and embrace debate and talk a little bit more uh, about the game. So, guys, be sure to do that and that would just uh, do me a huge favor and then lastly guys I just want to uh, talk a little bit about my uh, new series here Hard Knocks Podcast and I've got a lot of guests coming on and it's something that I'm starting to get some momentum with I think you guys will really enjoy the videos they are a little bit longer so be sure to just clear your schedule so that you can watch a, a video make sure that you don't want, try to watch it you know like at lunch or something like that but it is something that's pretty good it, especially you guys can just listen to it uh, if you're playing Madden you can just listen to the podcast uh, you know there's no video breakdowns or anything like that but it's going to be a lot of it, it's basically like I said it's just a podcast just us talking and I think you guys can get a lot out of it. So be sure to, if you guys could do me a favor, and go on Twitter, and it's at Madden Bible, and it's at Escape 7 If you guys could just send those guys a thank you. They were my first two guests on the show, and uh, we'll have more guests soon. But if you guys could just do that, that would really help me out. I think they would really appreciate hearing uh, a thank you from you guys. So thanks a lot for that, guys, and we'll talk to you later.